I was literally just editing the video and uh, the first thing that I saw, the first thing that I saw, which you will undoubtedly see, I had a bogey in this nostril right here. So um, yeah, the next two videos are going to be the uh, the booger cuts. This is a you know fair warning. I had no clue, no idea at all. Boys and girls. Great. Yeah, this is a video that I wanted to make before. I wanted to make it quite a while ago now. I made the video and then I was watching over it and there was just something about it that I just didn't particularly like. I don't know, it was just a bit dry. It's essentially the video which was meant to come out before, which I had teased, I guess you could say, where I was explaining why I'd taken a long break in February and what I was doing, the reason behind it, um, yeah, that's it really. I don't really use Instagram, like I have one and you know, you'll occasionally catch me liking memes on it, but I don't really post, I don't really like use it for what it's meant to be used for. And that's slightly because of a lack of motivation because nobody's gonna see my posts due to the algorithm, which is absolutely bullshit, which I spoke about in a previous video. And it's also because of a personal reason, which I'm gonna speak about as we go further into the video. But yeah, I uh, put up the, the little question time thingy and I wasn't expecting any but I actually got a lot more questions than I anticipated and because of that I just thought you know what I'm kind of starved for content right now so uh, might as well make this into a video how's life going bro so yeah life's been a bumpy ride recently and I'm sure it's been like that for most people I think this third lockdown's taken the wind out of a lot of people's sails most definitely mine this third lockdown has probably been the hardest of the three um, I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if it's because it was over the winter going into spring. I'm not sure if it's because it's the third time we're in lockdown. I'm not sure if it's because it's the first time that I really sort of felt alone. There's so many different things that have happened in this third lockdown. And even though I'm not alone, I have actually felt very alone. I felt very closed off from the world, very isolated, as though there was no one as though I was by myself and it was me versus the world, which obviously isn't true, but when you feel like that, you can't stop yourself, if you know what I mean. I'm not a religious man, but I do believe in God or a creator, an um, almighty power. I give thanks to that being, whether it is a he or a she or an it. I'm always thankful that I've woken up. I'm thankful that I'm alive, that I'm healthy, my family's healthy, and so I can't really complain, you know? Of course, you can always want more, you can always do more, but I have the minimum. I have everything that I need. And so I'm grateful and thankful for that. So yeah, life's been kind of just meh, if that makes sense. And with regards to where I've been, to be truthful, I've just been wanking off all day, every day, pretty much, you know, twice, three times a day sometimes. Now nah, I'm just playing. Um, I've actually been sort of coming up with uh, content ideas. I've been thinking about where I want my content to go. I know in the whole, you know, that I'm back video, I've got, you know, skits, reviews, blah, 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 blah. And I was sort of thinking, you know, I just wanna, I wanna do everything because I enjoy putting out content. I think that's part of the reason why I was a bit down as well. Uh, I'm not too sure how I'm going to produce content. Coming up with a creative idea or putting your own spin on something is the hardest part. And I want to have some form of originality to my content. I could just go on the internet, scour through YouTube and be like, oh, I want some of that, I want some of that, I want some of that, and just remake a video. I'd rather put my own spin. So yeah, that's kind of where I've been at right now. Uh, coming up with ideas, looking at what I need to buy, what I can do with what I have. Oh, and I've also been streaming too. Twitch.tv slash Automatic stream everything we'd like to talk a lot you lot have been making my twitch stream grow i'm very proud of the growth and uh yeah it's all thanks to you lot so make sure you check it out miss your youtube vids they were small for about two to seven minutes while i was watching them i could forget about my anxiety this is actually one of the nicest replies to the question that i have on here and though it isn't a question of course it's more of a statement it's something that i never really thought about i like making content because it's something that i enjoy doing i enjoy putting things out into the world i enjoy creating things but most of all i enjoy Enjoy putting a smile on people's faces and making people's days somewhat better. Even if I'm having a shitty day, it doesn't mean that you should have a shitty day. And if I can do something on that day to make sure your day is a little bit less shitty or maybe even great, my job is done. And that's going to put a smile on my face and ultimately that's going to change both your and my days. My whole life, I've always wanted to do nothing but help people. 
it's what I have a passion for, it's what I strive to do the most. I, I want to lift everyone up. When I succeed, you succeed. And when you succeed, I succeed. And that way we're all in this upper level and we're just getting better and better and better and better until we're the ones that can then uplift more and more people. That's the reason why I've always wanted to have some sort of either wealth which I can spread around and really change small communities, especially of like kids and parents who live in deprived communities, communities that don't have the amount of opportunities that even I've had. I've always wanted to do something like that, to give people the chance at doing something that's gonna impact the world. And if I just inspire one person or help one person, to me, that's a job well done. And that's always something that I've wanted to do. And then it's funny that you mentioned the anxiety. I'm extremely insecure and that's how I actually started out acting. I didn't want to be myself. I wanted to be somebody else. And for a long, long time, I would act like somebody else. And I always wanted to play a character and be someone who I wasn't. It's because of those things that I enjoy putting myself out in front of the camera as a character. But when I'm talking to you like this, you know, when it's me and you, this is scary. I don't really look at myself as super mega ultra talented or super good looking or even as like an actual like, I don't know, nice guy. I just see myself as me and I criticize myself a lot. I always look at my videos, look at the things that I've done in them, my facial expressions, uh, my smiling too much, my smiling too little. And I really scrutinize in detail little things. And that's ultimately the reason why I don't even post certain videos where I just be editing them and I just be like, you know what? This ain't it, bro. Like, this really ain't. And I just scrap it. So going back to that statement about the anxiety thing, I never thought about how I could be helping someone. Even though I may think the video is dead, it's the worst thing that I've ever seen in my life, it might be something that could help someone else. It's because of you, my friend, that I'm going to start making videos and I'm going to post them all no matter what. I will edit them to the best of my ability and just, just put them out. Just put them out there so that I've got a catalog of videos. It's something that I've actually done before where I've gone to like YouTubers and gone to their oldest, oldest videos and just sort of watched a couple here and there. And it's nice to see that catalog of growth. Growth as a person, growth as a content creator, seeing what they've done and how they've improved. And so, yeah, that's something that I'm gonna just start doing. Even if the video sucks and it is honestly terrible, I'm still gonna post it out there. I'm still gonna put it out there for the world to see. And it's gonna make me feel hopefully a bit less shit about not posting and not making things. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I'm gonna have like an actual Q and A cause there are a couple more questions, but they're not really related to this subject. And I kind of wanted to keep this video a bit more concise. Uh, it's already gonna be about 20 something minutes. So I'm gonna have to edit it down, cut it down. Hopefully I can make it to about 10, but yeah. Make sure you follow, make sure you subscribe, like the videos, follow the Twitch. And uh, of course, until next time, we'll have a Q&A coming very, very soon. And I'm gonna see you there. Take care. I actually have, n I have no fucking clue what the hell this thing was about. Like, what am I doing? Making a TikTok? <laughs>